God bless you again for this Wednesday word. Thank God uh, for all who are tuning in. Uh, reasons to be thankful for this season. Reasons to be thankful for. Of course, you already know that the word says, in everything, give thanks. Why? Because it is the will of God concerning Christ Jesus. Now, I believe if you're going to be thankful for anything, you ought to start with your faith. Your faith in Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, is the one whom you give thanks for this Thanksgiving season. Give thanks to the Holy One. Uh, and that's Jesus Christ. And then secondly, we ought to be thankful for families for this Thanksgiving season. We should be thankful for family. We should take the time to get with family. And when I say family this season, I mean immediate family, those who we tabernacle with in our homes. Now, there'll be plenty of time to see extended family, but I want to encourage everybody as much as possible to only get with your immediate family, only get with your immediate family. I'm thankful for my faith in Jesus Christ. I'm thankful for my family that I will be spending Thanksgiving with. And then I'm thankful for my friends. Although friends can't come over, we had friends over last Thanksgiving when it picked up a young man and brought him and made sure that he ate on last week, last Thanksgiving. Uh, but he, we can't have any friends over this year because of this COVID-19. But you know what we can do? We can be thankful for our friends. We can be thankful for loved ones. We can be thankful for our neighbors. So I'm thankful for my faith in Jesus. I'm thankful for my family. I'm thankful for my friends. But I'm also thankful because God allowed me to have a fun time and be fruitful. God allowed me to have a fun time this Thanksgiving. You ought to have a fun time. It's ought to be a fun time that you're going to bear fruit. You're going you're gonna to bear fruit. How do you do that? You do it by drawing closer to God to be a blessing to somebody else. How do I bear fruit? To draw closer to God so that in turn I'll be a blessing for someone else. Watch this piece. You. Thank you for joining us for this Wednesday Word. I want to take the time for us to reflect on being thankful. It's easy for us to say that we're not going to have a lot of company over. We won't have as much food. We cannot invite any of our friends over. Just uh, the, the, the normal, regular celebration of Thanksgiving won't be as pastimes. I want us to reflect on turning the negative into the positive. The positive thing is that we can be thankful for all the, of the hand of God and all that God has done. We can be thankful that we have a pillar to lay our head upon. We can be thankful that we have food on the table. We can be thankful that we have a God who's watched over us and who has blessed us and who have kept us to see another Thanksgiving. We have, in other words, we have more to be thankful for than we have to not be thankful. So I want you to reflect on all the good things that God has given you. The Bible says every good and perfect gift come from above. Everything that we have come from God. And so I want you to reflect on that. Reflect on, just make a list of all the good things that the Lord have done for you and I for this Thanksgiving. And when you do that, you'll find yourself thinking more on the positive than the negative. God bless you. God keep you. Have a great Thanksgiving with your family and with your friends. I'm free because of the